Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up the one shot zero function on the ATN X Site 2. As you can see, this particular one has our new custom fit neoprene padded cover on it that's included with all models that we sell now. Uh, this particular kit has an external rechargeable battery. We also have uh, Kentley special rechargeable internal battery kits as well as several IR options. Stick around and we'll show you how to use your one shot zero function. Alright folks, I'm going to be showing you how to do a one shot zero on ATN x 2. We've got our target set up down there. Essentially to get started, the only thing we're going to make sure of, we're in base magnification. So as you can see in the top right, we're at three power. We're on the center of the bullseye there. We're going to take a shot and see where we're at. All right, you can see I was holding the center of the bullseye. You can see where it hit. I'm going to hit the center menu button. We're going to go over to system settings. We're going to use the left right arrow keys to go over to profile zero. I'm going to arrow down to current. Hit the center button to select that. Center button again to pick zero reticle. All right, you can see I already had coordinates in here from another setup, but it's obviously wrong, so if you're starting from fresh, your XYs would both normally be zero. And you can see in this case they're X2, Y96, but it'll still work for us. We're going to start with the center aimed exactly where we aimed the first time, right in the middle of the bowl. We're going to use the left right arrow keys. As you can see, I'm arrowing down. Get down to about right there. We're going to come over and place that right on top of where our bullet actually hit. So as you can see, I'm aiming. I started aiming exactly where I aimed to begin with. Now I've got this the center of the mobile crosshair on the center of where the, the bullet actually hit. I'm going to hit the center button to accept that down to save and exit. We're going to back out of here. All right, now the, re the reticle has reset itself. We're going to load the gun again. I'm shooting an Air Force Air Gun Super Silence Condor 22 here. I'm shooting actually across the basement of my house. So I'm going to go right back onto the center of that bowl and we'll take a shot to confirm our move. Looks like we moved pretty good. Let's take one more. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's go up in magnification. We'll do a micro adjust, seeing how we know we're already pretty close. So right now I'm just zooming up on the target. I don't know if you paid attention there at the beginning or not, but in the beginning my XY coordinates as I was adjusting were moving in multiples of three. Now that we're zoomed up, those are going to move in multiples of one for fine tune. So I'm going to come to the center of here, again with that center select system settings, arrow over to profiles and zero, down to current, select again on zero reticle, we're going to move up and hold the center which hopefully is where I was holding before. See now that I'm only moving in increments of one. Save, save that and we'll give it another shot here and see how it looks. Alright, I'm going to stay up on the magnification scale, see how we did on the changes. Pretty good there. Shoot another one to confirm it. And typically when I'm shooting, these are a pretty small target for the distance that I'm shooting here. Usually I'll move over and shoot one of these numbers just to kind of confirm that I'm pretty well spot on. I'd say it's shooting pretty good. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call toll-free 877-806-2977. Check us out on the web, www.foxoptic.com. 
or if you want to email us, it's fox at foxoptic.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.